All right, well, here we are. We made it to Brockport, and there was our first visit of the day. But Porter seems to be doing okay. He limps every once in a while on that foot, but it's just wide open. There's no nail anymore, so. So Alon's gonna go over there to Rite Aid and grab some, uh, some, uh, I don't know, something, some antiseptic thing that they want him to put on his foot. And they gave us some painkillers so that he is not feeling crappy. So I'm gonna head down to the boat while she does that and crack a beer. I'll get back to you. So here's we are. Here's where we are in Brockport. Little welcome center. I'll take a walk around, but we're right down there. Free bikes. Grab one if you want. This looks like uh, Street in uh, Tonawanda. What is it? Or huh? Yeah, Webster's or. Down closer to Colosso. Reminds oh, me of. Main yeah. I'll take a walk around and see what it's like. Well, we are underway. We're just leaving downtown Brockport and we're heading back. Um, not quite sure how far we're going to make it today. Uh, the weather is beautiful, so slow cruise. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll stop in another place overnight or maybe we'll keep going. But we're going to get rolling here and get back in a minute. We're kind of stuck here for a minute trying to figure out what's going on with the bridge. She's messing around in the power there. Maybe she fixed it. We'll see in a second here. Sounds great. We'll see you at the next one. a little time for this next one I guess thank you so much we'll see you at the next one uh, we were thinking probably going to Lockport today thank you you too
Kiss getting in his car. And heading over here to get us at this bridge. So this is the town of Albion. And uh, looks like they have shower facilities and restaurants and stuff here. Uh, they got looks like pretty good power and, and water and everything. They got uh, grills so you can have barbecues and stuff. Um, seems like a pretty good area. We haven't ever stopped here, so I don't know what it's like in town, but one of these times we will. Look on to the next one. What? That's the prison right there. A lot of razor wire going on over there. guys will be coming down pretty soon. <clears throat> yeah, unfor unfortunately, again, I got music playing in the background, so I had to uh, turn down the audio on the video so that uh, I don't get nailed with copyright. But uh, just kind of cruising back. It's as you can tell, it's a nice warm day. Um, it was like in the upper 40s the day before, and now it's like uh, 75 degrees, 76 degrees. So it's a beautiful ride home. So we're just uh, heading up to the next lift bridge and making our way back towards Lockport. I just think it's kind of cool when you go along these concrete walls, all the wake from your boat um, hits the wall, and I don't know, I just thought it kind of looked cool when I was doing it, so I just figured I'd show a little bit of that there. And again, I got music playing in the background, so I can't, uh, I gotta turn the audio down. Around this corner, we're heading into Medina. Debating on whether or not we're going to stay here tonight. It's only, uh, it's only five to one. We can get all the way to Lockport, but we want to want to stay here or not. Okay, right? Yeah. Or do you want me to go somewhere else? Yeah, just further up. Oh, is there cleats up there? No. 
Yeah, so this is our stop in Albion, and um, I wasn't really liking it. You see how my boat's moving around like crazy? That's just from our own wake when we came in there, and it did this for quite a while. And then up against that, uh, up against the wall, there's a gap between the whalers and the concrete, so like you could slip in between it with your feet or your dog or whatever. So we just stayed here for lunch real quick, and then uh, hopped right out of there and headed back to or head towards Lockport. We got one of the gates down already for the year. So they'll do with this one in another couple days. <laughs> There's where we were the other day for the weekend. As you can see, everybody left. We came from that way. We're heading back towards home. So next place is Gasport and then we're to the Lockport locks, so I'll get you back on in a little bit. See the big, the big metal rooster in that guy's front yard. The canal cruising. You've probably seen it. We're coming up into Lockport now. Um, another few minutes. Once we get there, we'll go through the locks. We'll get to the other side of them, and then pull in the spillway where we're gonna spend the spend the evening. So I'll, uh, I'll turn you back on once we get closer. All right, just coming up now. Around this bend is the locks. Yeah, we were gonna stay in Medina uh, for the night tonight, but when I pulled in there, just just the wake that I caused coming in there, which wasn't horrible, but oh my god. So just the wake that I caused. Oh okay. Where'd you go? There you go. It was bouncing across it was bouncing off the walls like a bathtub uh, for ten minutes after we had the boat uh, tied up. So I can imagine if any traffic came through there and you're trying to sleep, it would be bad. And again, if uh, go in the summertime when there is boat traffic, I don't know how I don't know how comfortable it's going to be. So we're going to have to think about that one. Uh, Holly is close by, and that's another spot we could stay at, which is look look pretty good. So might, maybe we'll do Holly instead. But it's coming up to the locks now. We'll get in there and we'll go up.
Yeah, because I'm trying to stay in the shade. I hear a lot of people getting nervous about going through locks and if you if you just do it properly calmly you'll get through no issues at all um, typically if there's wind it doesn't really take effect when you enter a lock because you're down inside of it and it doesn't it doesn't really affect you that much it can but as long as you are underway and you get to where you need to go uh, you'll get in fine these these lines that hang from here you don't want to, you obviously don't want to tie your line around it and then back to your cleat because if you snag on something, it could actually sink your boat. So you just want to have it in one hand and then have someone up on the bow with the other hand and, you know, just ride it up or down, whichever way you're going. 
he's not going particularly fast this time. Sometimes he he really opens the valve and lets it rush in. And you'll get more turbulence out here, which will you know either push your boat away from the wall or push it or pull it away from the wall or push it towards the wall. But as long as you as long as you have a hand on this and you're and you're on this line here, there's no issues. So just enjoy the time that you have in the locks. And it's all good to go. Yeah, I don't know, I kind of stalled here. We're moving, but really slow. Hmm. I don't know. But we'll get up there in a minute. Leaf stuck in the air conditioner twice yesterday. noise you hear is not my boat that's the uh, the gears and the locks uh, spinning around so I'm listening to it now and think oh my god sounds like transmissions but it's not what do you do the railing usually I do. and then I'll do a cleat but on the wall to go that far. huh but we don't have to go that far you want to just do around? I'm afraid to go around a pole. Are you? Are you okay with it or no? What I'm thinking is worst comes to worst. I don't know. You tell me where you want. Let's me to go. go to the railing, just so that we won't trip over that thing. Yeah. And then I can just get a back leap. Far up. I mean. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. Which one do you want to go to, babe? I'm gonna let's go back. Okay. Go only because the dock curves out there, and I don't know what it's gonna do with the bow of the boat. And it'll be closer to the power. Uh, last year's video where we came through the locks that had all this in here but this is a spillway uh, the water for the locks goes through those grates over there and that's how they they raise and lower these but you can also pull your boat in here and they have power and water 
that power and water and everything for you. And then uh, over here, that building right there, the Tom's Diner building, the bottom floor there with no windows, that's um, a place called Gonzo's. So if you want to have a couple of beers and play some pool and darts, that's a good place to go. Then there's that building over there, that brick building with the red roof. That one's called Flight of Five, and it's a winery, and they also have some food in there and stuff. But I, we're trying to we're talking about this earlier. I, I think that they have beer in there, but I can't be positive. I thought that I had like craft beer. Uh, so yeah, so that's a cool place to go to. It's really cool inside that building. Then up around the corner is a place called Lock Thirty Four, and it's a uh, it's a restaurant, nice restaurant. Um, I don't mean fancy, but it's a, it's you know good food, big bar. Uh, outside dining, inside dining, real cool place. And then there's a new restaurant. Do you know what the name of the new restaurant is, hon? There's a new restaurant in town. I think we're going to go try to check it out. But, um, yeah, so this is it. This is Lockport. So if you're coming from Tonawanda and you're heading towards, you know, New York, this is a cool place to stay uh, overnight. This is all free, uh, free docking and stuff like that. There isn't any bathroom facilities that I can re there's a porta potty, but there's no there's no showers or anything like that. So, this is just kind of a place to spend the night and you know, unwind till your next stop. But that's where we are now, and it's a good thing too because we came in and the lock guy said that uh, today was the last day. Five o'clock today is when the locks shut down. Um, there's stuff written on on the on the internet that says it's not. It's it's open till tomorrow, but he assured me that it was tonight. So. I don't know who to believe, but that guy's got his finger on the drain button, so I'm going to believe him. So anyways, that's what we're doing. We're here. We're going to go get cleaned up and head off and get some dinner somewhere. So I'll catch you in a little bit.